I'm going to show you how an income tax calculator spreadsheet can calculate not only your income tax, but national insurance, taxes on dividends, taxes on interest, and capital gains tax. I use a spreadsheet to calculate my income tax because I want to see the underlying calculations that are driving the numbers, and then I can get confidence in what is going on. Before I fill in my self-assessment tax form online, I always use an income tax calculator spreadsheet to come up with the tax amount that I think I should pay, and then I compare that to what HMRC is saying, and that way I can get confidence that I'm not overpaying tax. With the spreadsheet, you can do file, make a copy, and then you can start editing away. You can also download as an Excel spreadsheet if you want to convert the income tax calculator into Excel. The light brown colors are for the tax bands and the tax rates, and they're already pre-populated for you. In the income tax calculator spreadsheet, you just input on the yellow cells. So you put things like your salary, any self-employed profits, any rental property income, any mortgage interest expense on that rental property, any private pension or state pension income. If you're making contributions to a pension, you can do it as AVCs or as salary sacrifice, and those would go in in negative numbers. You also input your dividends and your interest and your capital gains. And then in the bottom half of the spreadsheet, it's running all the calculations for income tax, taxes on dividends, taxes on interest, and it's splitting it out by the different tax bands. The file has two tabs in it. One is for tax year ending April 2024. So you can use that to calculate what might go on your self-assessment for that year. And then also I've updated some of the tax numbers for 2025 as well. So you can do some planning for the new tax year as well. The file also calculates the percentage of your income that you spend, the percentage that goes on tax and national insurance, and the percentage of money that you save into pensions and ISA. So it's a useful way of keeping track of your savings rate. In this cell, you can input your personal allowance. So I put in the standard personal allowance, but you might have a lower number. You also might get a bit confused as to why it says there's a 60% tax band. That's because if you earn over £100,000, then it starts to erode your personal allowance. And this number is taking that into consideration. If you have benefits such as a company car or private health insurance, you can put the tax on those benefits into this input cell here. And it should now reconcile with the tax that you see on your payslip. But as a disclaimer, people with very complicated tax situations, it might not be able to fully calculate your tax affairs. And if you're in any doubt, see a professional tax accountant before making any major decisions. I'll put a link in the description as to how you can sign up to my newsletter and get access to all my free files. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, check out this next video.